Welcome to PCTricksGuru.com and in this video tutorial I'll be showing you how to get crisp and clear vocals using Mixcraft Pro Studio 9. If you are a podcaster or if you are a singer then uh, this video will be very helpful for you. So let's start. So what I'll do now we have to open Acoustica Mixcraft Pro Studio 9. I have already installed it in the machine if you want. You can purchase the license through acoustica.com and uh, uh, this software is really wonderful it's amazing and it's very easy to use so once you launch uh, the uh, mixcraft you'll see this screen you do not have to do anything about it right here just click on ok and uh, you'll see the tracks that uh, how many tracks do we have here so this is the instrumental track using which you can uh, play the virtual instruments and record music and these are the audio tracks so let's use the second track to record any vocal and then I'll show you that which effects we have to apply to improve the vocals to put that richness and uh, enhance the quality of the vocal which will make it sound professional so before we start the recording we have to select the recording device and I have connected uh, my condenser microphone with uh, my USB sound card so for that I'll have to click here and then select this one microphone GS3 so I have selected it now you can see that uh, the bar it's moving here and uh, before recording we have to make sure that this arm button is clicked so if we uncheck if we unclick this option you won't be able to see any kind of audio input there so we have to click on arm and then you can see that uh, the audio input is being accepted by Mixcraft. So to start the recording, let's uh, click on this record button over here and then I'll try to sing something. So let's see how does it sound. Hey, 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 la 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 so this was something now let's try to play this uh, recorded audio and check how does it sound without applying any kind of effects so these are the raw vocals so let's listen to it so i'll click on play here <laughs> Okay, pretty good. And uh, you can observe that uh, there is uh, some uh, noise in the background. So we have to reduce the noise. And for that, we have to just double click on uh, this audio track, which we recorded. Double click over here. And now you can see that we have the waveform for this audio. To adjust the noise or to remove the noise from the recorded sample we have to click on audio here and then click on this waveform button which you see find next noise sample i clicked over here and uh, mixcraft automatically detected the best place to find the noise you can make some changes as well so instead of using the default noise place i will move the noise start at the beginning and uh, the noise end should be here so just before the beginning of the recording i selected some area from where i'll choose the noise sample and that sample will be applied in the whole track and it will uh, remove the noise from the track this is the slider if you want to increase or decrease the amount of the noise if there is a lot of noise in your recording then you can incre increase this slider to 50% 60% or whatever you like so for now I'll leave it at default that is 30% only now let's try to play the track and uh, you'll see that uh, there, there won't be any noise this time 
ラララララララララ Okay, so noise is almost gone. I did not observe any noise in the track. Now let's try to enhance the vocals, and for that, I'll apply some filters, or you can say VST effects with the audio track, which will improve the quality of the recorded song or your vocals, you can say. So we can unarm the recording device from here. Now we do not need to record anything. We have to apply the filters. So I'll click on this FX over here, Edit Track Effects. After clicking, you'll be able to see this window effect list. And after clicking on this drop down, it will list all the VST effects that are available in your machine. So the first VST effect which I need to choose is I'll choose Acoustica Compressor. After clicking Acoustica Compressor, it will open its properties for you and uh, make sure to change the properties as I'm doing over here. So right now the threshold, it should be minus 12, that is okay. The ratio should be 2.66, that should also be okay. Attack should be 80, that's fine for me and release should be 283 to 285, so that is also fine and output gain it should be zero so if these settings are different in your computer then make sure that you use the exact settings which are displayed on the screen and then now let's close it the effect has been applied you can see that uh, the turn on button is enabled so this VST effect is now enabled let's use the other VST that will be Acoustica Equalizer so I'll have to look for it over here. You can simply search for it or here it is Acoustica Equalizer. Just click on it and then we have to make some adjustments over here. So for most of the vocals, these two should be at zero because uh, we do not need these and for the rest of them I recommend leaving the others as it is to zero decibels and for these two we have to slide them a little bit down here so it will make the vocals crisp you'll see some improvements in the treble of the vocal so make sure that you use this setting after that you can close it we have applied the second effect as well now the third effect which we need to use is uh, Poltronic Tube EQ so you can search for it and then click over here after clicking over here you have to check that uh, everything is okay fine and from here we have to use uh, the HF vitalizer this one works for my voice and uh, it depends on your voice how do you sound and uh, how do you like your voice so for me I think that this is the best for me so I always use HF vitalizer for my recordings and uh, main tube is already turned on everything seems to be okay we do not have to make any changes with the this if you want you can increase the warmth of your voice a little bit and uh, bandwidth boost everything okay fine you can move it saturation drive a little bit okay fine everything seems to be okay so you can play with it and you can uh, use the settings as per your requirements for now I think for me these settings are fine make sure to use the HF vitalizer now we have closed it the next VST effect which we need to use is Acoustica Reverb 
so here is the reverb it improves the vocals it brings some kind of uh, you can say um, echo effect so you'll see you'll notice that uh, how does it sound so here we have to use the reverberation up to 30 then uh, high frequency damping should be 50 that's fine stereo width should be 100 that is also okay and wet mix i'll just decrease it a little bit seven would be fine for me and dry mix would be 100 okay fine so for the main vocals i am done with the, the vst effects so we have used these effects now let's try to listen to the vocals without effects and after then and after that we will apply we will enable the effects and then we'll listen that how does it sound so i'm deleting this area we have already selected uh, the noise sample so that's not required anymore okay let's play and let's see how does it sound okay so this was with the effects enabled now i'll show that how does it sound without the effects and uh, in between i'll enable the effect so that you can uh, notice the difference <laughs> so you noticed that after enabling all these effects the vocals are much cleaner and it sounds crisp so uh we can uh, try one more thing over here uh in acoustica mixcraft pro studio we can use the send track send track so what does it do it enhances the sound further and for that we have to add a send track insert track and then go to send track here now in the send track we have to apply the effects again and for the send track i will select some uh, effects for that i'll use the acoustica equalizer and uh, then we can do the same settings again that is fine if you want you can decrease them also a little bit okay that is fine for me now the second effect which i want to use will be the Pultronic tube eq i have selected it now we have to use the hf vitalizer okay now the next one is uh, acoustica delay so it brings the delay effect uh, where it is there it is acoustica delay and for the acoustica delay we have to make some changes so we'll adjust it uh, between 210 to 220 or 207 that is fine for me and the uh, feedback amount it will be increased till 50 okay pan it should be balanced so i'm not going to change this one for wet mix i'll use 70 okay that is fine 70 or any value between 65 to 70 will work and for the dry mix we have to keep it 50 okay that's fine for the delay close it now the next one is we will apply some reverb and for that i'll use acoustica reverb so here it is now change the value to 64 then uh, high frequency damping 50 that is fine 
and stereo width would be 100 that is also okay wet mix we can make it uh, somewhere around 70 or 60 okay 69 that's fine and for the dry mix we have to make it 40 okay done now one more effect we have to use is a classic chorus so i'll scroll it down classic chorus here it is and in the classic chorus we have to use flat on roads so this is already selected that's fine we have selected this and we have to make some changes over here i'll make it uh, 20 ms this one 0.75 x okay and uh, this one should be default i don't need to change it that also looks good <clears throat> for output okay we can adjust it about here okay so this setting looks fine to me and uh, okay so no changes are required anymore i think we are done with the send track so we can close the send track now let's try to apply the send track here and uh, notice the difference that what does it do with the sound so for that we have to click on toggle automation and then click on send one because the track name is here send one so i'm applying the send track and here is the amount of send which i want to apply i'll make it uh, 14 10 to 15 will be fine so now let's try to play the audio again and see how does it sound and the same audio let me try to copy it and put it here in a different track where no effects no filters are applied so for now i'll mute this track the fourth audio track and then i'll play the final audio track which we got after applying all the filters all the effects let's play it <laughs> so you can see that this one sounds much better and if i mute this track and if i play the original track see the difference <laughs> okay so for today that's all i think you are now able to use mixcraft pro studio to enhance your vocals keep experimenting with the, the filters with the effects because uh, these settings uh, they might not sound too good with everyone's voice but uh, i try to use the settings which could be used as a universal setting for everyone not sure about it but still you can give it a try and i'm sure that it will definitely enhance your vocals so see you in the next video and uh, till then Stay safe and have a good day. Bye-bye.